G'day everyone, welcome to Tasmanian Fishing Adventures. We are exploring the backyard today. So we're uh, going to a few different places that I've just found on a map and literally just looked at a map and looked at any uh, blue blobs on that map. There's a couple that I want to go and explore that aren't far from home, so we're going to go and do that today. Um, where these lakes are, they're not far from the Mersey River, so we'll probably go and explore the Mersey if, uh, if the lakes don't pan out or if we have time, which we probably will. So we'll probably end up going to visit a couple of different spots today. And I'll take the camera along, I'll see if there's any fish anywhere. And uh, anyway, if you're watching this, probably means that I caught some fish, so spoil, <laughs> spoiler alert. But uh, we'll probably catch some fish. Well, guys, stay tuned. We'll uh, see you again at the first lake. Yeah, oh no. Oh, there's fish in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Random hidden lake. <laughs> oh, there he is. Eat it, eat it. Look at him. Look at him, he's right there. Some inbred egg looking trout. He looks so weird. <laughs> Big brown trout, but he looks like he had pretty low genetic variation. Like <laughs> his tail is weird. There are trout in here. Such a random little lake. In the middle of nowhere. Got him. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's tiny. There you go. You never know where you're gonna find fish. Literally just on Google Maps, had a bit of a squeeze. And we've got ourselves Real dark trout. Look at that little one. It's smaller than old mate who he's following just then. Cool. Oh. Yes. Two and two casts. <laughs> we found some fish. Mm. Spat the hook in the net. There you go. Slightly bigger one. Random, random little lake. And we've got our oh, random little trout. All right, going for the hat trick. Can cast over there. I get a hat trick out of the random tiny lake. Alright, we're halfway back. It's not looking promising. No. Oh, that was a touch. Got him, got him, yep. No hat trick, but three and four casts. Another tiny, whoop. Another tiny one. How about that? Oh, that's the smallest one. <laughs> Can you see him? <laughs> tiny, tiny fish. So what I've done here is just literally look at a map 
found a body of water and I've decided to go and have a look at it. It's that simple. So sometimes it's nice to, oh, there was your follow. It's not committed there. Sometimes it's nice to be told where the fish are, particularly if it's a part of the state that you're not familiar with, but it's also really nice to just go and explore your backyard. And that's what I'm doing here. It's not too far from home. There's a few rivers nearby that I know are good for fishing. So if I didn't find anything here, I'll go and check them out and I'll probably still do that anyway later today. But uh, I've literally just found the spot all by myself. I'm sure it doesn't have a name. It's, uh, it, it wouldn't be written up anywhere online. So it's nice to just explore, look at a map and explore every now and then. Um, I've just got a small uh, map spinner on. And that's a really good lure. You'll catch trout um, on those lures all the time. Um, but it's particularly a good lure just for exploring new water and just check it, chucking it out there. And if all else fails, you're going to get follows with a spinner, with a map spinner or a shelter or something like that. But we've uh, landed three and had a couple more taps and follows, so it's interesting. You get your random spot. Yes, got him. Grass hopper, he's got the eight. And it will be a rainbow trout, I can <laughs> guarantee it. Well, you can't guarantee anything in life, but pretty convinced we're going to be looking at a rainbow trout in just a second. Seriously, use. Come this way. Yeah, I've got you. Got him. Love a grasshopper eater. Not a massive fish, but a uh, nice little rainbow trout and got the grasshopper scoffed down his gob there. Got him. On the nymph. Where is he? There he is. Nice. Hasn't done much fish. We've moved out of rainbow waters into brown waters now. He's not a bad fish, he just didn't fight at all. Um, rainbow's like the fast water and the brown's like the slower water. It's not always the case, of course, but... Uh, nice fish. A school of them following. The little one. Got him. 
little salmon. It's not really the target species, nor is it the target size, but we're breaking in the new rod. It's a fancy new rod. It's expensive. <laughs> now you don't need to spend lots of money to catch fish, but this rod and reel combo should hopefully last me a very long time. So what we have, the rod itself is a Shimano Anthem, so um, it's a nice uh, seven foot long rod, um, and it's designed for uh, casting and uh, and catching fairly large fish. It's quite quite heavy, like it's quite uh, strong there in the tip and things. So um, it should be able to stand up to some kingfish and some small tuna and, and things like that. So just stay tuned for when I catch them. I'll let you know. Don't worry about it. Uh, the reel itself is a pen. Um, it's uh, a battle 5000. So um, again, fairly nice quality reel. Should be able to catch a few fish and uh, we've caught a bunch of salmon today. I've only just started recording because it's only been little salmon but they've started to come through quite thick now so a bit of entertainment. Um, so the lure I'm using is a bait junkie 5 inch uh, white, I don't know what uh, minnow kind of style, you know, kind of thing going on. It's got a uh, fairly large jig head so I can cast a long way. Yes. This is a better one, maybe. Yeah, dude. I've not managed to land any of the better ones. Because uh, they keep jumping and getting off, so that's been the moral of the, well, the story of the day. Oh, he jumped and he didn't get off, so yeah, that's a good start. Oh, so much weight behind this rod, it's great. There's a bit of fish landing, and it's going to be the tricky part. <laughs> there he goes. Oh well, we got to see him. Quick release, and uh, out from under the rock you go. That was your better one at least. Oh yes. It's such a visual style of fishing, I really love this. Because I can see my lure the whole way in, because I'm ripping it in quite fast along the surface. This is a smaller one. Still such fun fish though, these little Australian salmon. There he is. There he is, guys. Salmon with the uh, bait junkie in the mouth there. He wasn't going anywhere. Thanks, buddy. Get it back out there, see if we can crack a hat trick. Fix up the plastic first. All right, hat trick cast. Come on, fish, I can see my plastic. There's no life around it. <laughs> ba -bow. Coming straight in, I molested that lure. Yes. Coming straight in towards me. What's all salmon? Alrighty everyone, we might wrap it up there. Interesting day, just exploring the backyard basically. Uh, checking out a couple of blue blobs on maps and just finding if they're a fish or not and there were. So 
Uh, really interesting day. Uh, I spent a little bit of time on the favourite uh, river. Um, it's your favourite section of the favourite river. Caught a couple of brand rainbow trout uh, and then ended up right at the mouth of that same river, Mersey River. Catching a bunch of salmon and uh, christening the new rod. So guys, until next time, I hope to see you out on the water, wherever that may be.